turning my attention now to the criminal courts, and I'm going to go through the same operation. I'm going to talk about the trial and the appellate jurisdiction of these courts and say a little bit more about the kind of work that they do. I've mentioned them before. Here we're going to look at them in detail. Magistrates' courts. Magistrates' courts are a key part of the criminal justice system, and the majority of criminal cases are completed in this court. In addition, magistrates' courts can deal with some civil cases, for instance, antisocial behaviour, public health, and they're also responsible for the enforcement of fines and community punishments. Whereas cases requiring a penalty greater than the magistrate's sentencing power will be sent to the Crown Courts. There's a relationship between the Magistrates' Court and the Crown Court. Let me just pick up on that point I made a moment ago about the civil matters that the Magistrates uh, can deal with. The Magistrates' Courts have a very limited jurisdiction over certain kinds of civil matters. And this really reflects the historical powers that Magistrates used to have over certain areas of civic life. The magistrate's limited appellate jurisdiction over civil matters can be accounted for in similar terms. It's historical, in other words. The Crown Court. The Crown Court, as I've said, deals with more serious criminal cases such as murder, rape, robbery, some of which are on appeal or referred from the magistrate's court. Trials are heard by a judge and a 12-person jury. Members of the public are selected for jury service or may have to go to court as witnesses. Crown Court cases originate from magistrates' courts. The Crown Court, then, has an appellate jurisdiction over decisions of the magistrates' court, in particular relating to matters of sentence or conviction. Just to stress, that is alongside the uh, relationship between the Crown Court and the magistrates' court that I was referring to. In other words, the magistrates can refer cases to the Crown Court to be dealt with, uh, for instance, if their sentencing powers are too restricted to deal with the kind of case that, the, that is before them. The Crown Court also has a limited jurisdiction over civil matters. This includes a limited power to hear appeals from the magistrates on civil matters. Court of Appeal. Court of Appeal Criminal Division. Remember, there's a, the Court of Appeal has a civil division and a criminal division. So that the criminal division Here's appeals from the Crown Court. 